Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to be talking about um, logarithms with exponents. Okay, logs with exponents. Well, I have here just um, a proof here to know how to deal with exponents when we're dealing with logs. Um, so if we were given here log base 2, 7 to the third power, how can we rewrite that with the exponent? So I wrote out the proof here. So 7 to the third is the same thing as saying 7 times 7 times 7. Well, in our last lesson, we learned that if you're going to multiply terms in front of the log, you can actually break it up by adding them. So log 7 plus log 7 plus log 7. So splitting it up into three different logs. Well, if you have three, the same thing being added, we could rewrite that three log base two sevens. So we can actually come up with a little identity here. If you have log base b of x to the r, so you have a variable or some term to the exponent, we can actually rewrite that by bringing the exponent out front. So this becomes r times log base b of x. Okay, so this is one of the identities we're going to be working with. And the other one is if I were to give you log base b of x, uh, the nth root of x. Remember, when well, you can rewrite a, a, a root here by saying x to the 1 over n, okay? Whatever your inside exponent is, that's your numerator. Outside index or root becomes your denominator. And then we can actually move that out front. So 1 over n log base b x. So these are the two identities um, that we're going to be dealing with for this section. So it says here, write this in expanded form. So again, we want to deal with this, this identity here where we want to bring the exponent out front. So we're going to bring this expo exponent out front. So the 3 comes up front. So we have 3 log base 4 of t v squared. But we want to expand this thing as much as possible. So now we have two terms that are on the inside of the parentheses. So what we have to do is we have to write those. Remember that we can now say this is log 4t log 4v squared. But even still, we still have an exponent here with the v. We don't want that. So we need to bring the exponent in front of the log that it's attached to. Notice the v, the, the square is not attached to this, um, to the t also only attached uh, to the v. So our final answer is we have the 3 on the outside. We have log base 4t plus, now the 2 comes up front of the second log, 2 log base 4v. And that would be your final answer. So again, we bring the 3 up front of the entire thing. Okay. Now we can break up the t and the v squared by by adding, but the three wants us. You want to uh, apply the three to the entire problem. That's why we put the both logs in parentheses. And now to get rid of this squared, we bring that out front. So this would be your. Oh, this would be your final answer. Okay. Now let's do another one here. Now we have that nth root problem. Okay. Well, we can rewrite. Uh, a 4 here. Actually, I don't have a base there. Let's call this base b. Um, we could say log b. Instead of saying to the fourth root, we could say this is c to the third over d to the one fourth. Again, that's how we rewrite fourth root, is that we make it a fraction exponent, one fourth. And now we can actually bring this up front. So we have one fourth log base b of c cubed over d. But now we have, again, we don't want division problem in there. And the way we split up the division problem is by saying one log minus the other. So log base b of c cubed minus log base b of d. And lastly, you want to make sure all exponents are gone. So here we have the cube. We need to bring it in front of its own log there. So our final answer is 1 fourth times 3 log base bc minus log base bd. 
Again, you only want the exponents to affect that which it's connected to. The, the cube is not connected to the D. That's why we don't bring it all the way to the outside or else it would affect log D as well. So we just bring it in front of the log that it's attached to. Okay, so this will be our final answer. That is how we write it in expanded form. Again, exponents go to the front and then split up our terms on the inside. If it's being multiplied, we split it up by with an uh, addition sign. If it's divided by, subtraction. Okay? All right. Now let's go in the opposite direction, simplify. Now we want to only have one uh, log term uh, in our final answer. So we can actually rewrite, always first rewrite the exponent. So just how we can bring an exponent up front, we can actually bring those coefficients to become exponents. So now this becomes log base 2 m to the fourth plus log base 2 n to the one third minus log base 2 p to the fifth. So again, we moved all the numbers, all the coefficients up front to make them exponents. Now we can actually combine. So our one root is log, or our one log is log base 2. Since these are uh, both positive logs, those go in the numerator being multiplied. So m to the fourth, n to the one third. Since this is negative, this goes in the denominator, p to the fifth. So this would be our answer. Now if you wanted to, you could change that one third to look like this. m to the fourth times the third root of n over p to the fifth. Either answer is acceptable. So, um, but in terms of knowing what to do, coefficients become the exponents when we're trying to simplify. And then since these are both positive logs, we multiplied. Negative log goes in the denominator. Okay? All right, let's do one more. All right. So here, don't worry about the one-fourth. Let's, let's deal with this three first. We have one-fourth log base 5c plus... Again, that's going to become the exponent. So log base 5 d to the third minus log base 5 of f. So let's worry about this 1 fourth at the end. So let's combine on the inside. So we have two positives. Actually, we don't need the, the parentheses anymore. So we have 1 fourth log base 5. Since these are both positive, those terms are going to be multiplied on top. So C, D to the third over, since that's minus, this goes in the denominator. But we don't want the uh, coefficient to be left out there. So we're going to move this over here. So log base 5 of C, D to the third over F to the one fourth. And again, we can rewrite this as log base 5 and that's to the fourth root. Because remember, one fourth, you can actually write it as the fourth root. So this is how we simplify. Again, if you have something affecting the entire problem with when there's parentheses, see what you can do. Simplify inside the parentheses first, then apply the coefficient to become your exponent. Okay? Now let's do one, or let's do two problems where we actually have to solve for t. So we need an actual answer here for t. So First, we know that this 2, since coefficient, can become an exponent. So we have log base b of t squared. Here, there's no coefficients to deal with, so we can go ahead and combine these. Since it's log plus log, we're going to multiply those terms. So now this becomes log b of 3, ti uh, three times t plus 6. And again, like with our last section, we said once you have one log on both sides of the equal sign, we can cancel those out. Cancel out those logs. So we have t squared is equal to 3t plus 18. I distributed the 3. And now we want to get everything to one side of the equal sign. So minus 3t minus 18 is equal to 0. We subtracted those both over. And now we can break into two parentheses, just like we've done many, many times. And we know it's going to be opposite symbols because of the minus sign. And our final answer, t minus 6, t plus 3. So switch the symbol. We have negative 3 and positive 6. But again, like I said before, 
you want to go uh, plug in your original problems and see what you get. Plug the negative 3 into here. You see 2 log b of negative 3. You cannot have log of a negative number, so this will not work. 6, on the other hand, this is positive. I plug 6 into here. That stays positive. So t equals 6 is my final answer. Okay? Let's do one last problem. Here we have... Okay, um, 1 half log base 3t plus 1 half log base t minus 5 equals log base 3, 6. So, first thing you want to do is handle the coefficients. So this becomes log 3, t to the 1 half. Uh, and remember, t to the 1 half is the same thing as saying square root of t. Remember, t to the 1 half, same thing as saying square root of t, that invisible 2 here. Same thing here, plus log base 3 of square root of t minus 5. Okay? That's pretty sloppy. So we moved the 1 half of, uh, to become the exponent, but we, we wrote it as a root instead. And this just stays. There's nothing that's changing this side. Okay? Now we have two logs on this side, so we need to combine. Since it says plus, we're going to multiply. So log base 3 root t so now we have root t times root t minus 5 whenever you have a root times a root you just multiply what's underneath them so this becomes t times t minus 5 underneath the root and that's equal to log base 3 6 now we have only one log on both sides so we can cancel those out so on, on the uh, underneath the root if we distribute we have the square root of t squared minus 5t is equal to 6. But we still need to solve for t. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this root. And again, the way you get rid of a root is square it. So we have to square the other side as well. So those cancel out. We're left with t squared minus 5t is equal to 36. Then we get the 36 over here because we need one side equal to 0. Oops. And now you can factor into two parentheses, t plus, t minus. And what factors are 36 or 5 away from each other? 9 and 4. So t is equal to negative 4 or 9. So again, we have negative 4 and 9. If I plug negative 4 into my original problem, that gives me log of a negative number. That's not a possibility. If I plug 9 in, I get a positive 9. If I plug 9 in here, I get 4, both positive, so t equals 9 would be my final answer. Okay, so that's how we deal with logarithms with exponents. Remember, bring the exponents up front if you're trying to expand it. Um, remember, bring the exponent up front if you're trying to expand it. And if you're trying to simplify it, if you have a coefficient, bring it um, to become an exponent. Okay? So good luck with that, and ask questions in class if you need.